Hi there and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of a difficult topic. And that is this little truth that you'll never find freedom from shame unless you're willing to expose the shameful parts of your life and your past to the light of Jesus. And that light is there to set you free. It's not there to judge you. But we're going to talk about the woman with the issue of blood that is talked about in Luke 8, verse 43 to 48. This woman had been bleeding somehow nonstop for 12 years. Back then, those who had uh, infections or leprosy, skin rashes, uh, bleeding, they would have been ostracized. They would have been sent out of town, probably to the outskirts, by the temple priests who declared them to be unclean. And they would further be made to wear clothing or to walk in a certain way that would proclaim to everyone around them that they were unclean and therefore everybody had to stay away. This particular woman had spent every single penny she had going from doctor to doctor to doctor, trying to find freedom and trying to be healed. But none of their best efforts helped. At that point, I can imagine she was feeling pretty hopeless. But somewhere along the line, she heard a story about this man, Jesus, who not only healed the unclean, but he actually touched them. A little bit of hope that was maybe way, way down deep inside of her heart sprung up and she decided that she would go see who this Jesus was herself. The, the closer she got to Jesus, the more and more the crowds pressed in to be close to Jesus. And she was able to somehow sneak into the crowd, break through that, and by this time there was a desperate hope, last ditch effort hope that had rose up inside of her and she reached out and deliberately tugged at his sleeve. At that very moment, Jesus, who was pressed in by at all sides, stopped the circus and said, who just touched me? Because he could feel the power of healing go through him and into the individual that had just been healed. Now, Jesus had a little discussion with Peter at this point, so this woman could have chosen to slink away into the background and not uh, risk exposing herself any further than already, even though she knew that she was healed. She probably wanted to get home, get cleaned up, change her clothes, and try to sneak back into society. But Jesus had other plans. His words, who was it that touched me, were like an arrow to her heart, and she knew that she needed to go back to the man who healed her and say that it was me. Now, if I had been her, I would have gone up, tugged his sleeve again, and whispered, it was me, especially if it was something that was considered an unclean thing that she was healed from. No, keeping her focus on Jesus' face, she stepped forward and publicly declared what she had been healed from and that now she was healed. As she spoke those words, I believe the power of shame and the fear of being exposed were completely shattered and broken off of her because she exposed her shame to Jesus' light. And Jesus kind of confirms this where he says to her at that point, daughter, your faith has made you well. When he, she went up there and tugged his sleeve, she had faith, even though it was tiny, that Jesus would heal her. But he says this now, go in peace. Go is an active word. It's something that we talk about what you're going to be doing in the future. And Jesus says to her, go 
in peace. Walk in peace. Walk in the light. And rejoice and enjoy your newfound light. No more was she going to have to be in the shadows and no more would she ever be tempted to hide her past. As I'm talking to you right now, there could be some of you who fear is starting to rise inside of your heart because there are some things in your past or maybe right now that you're involved with that you are feeling so much shame about, but you feel trapped in that shame. And because you're trapped in that shame, you're stuck in a cycle of you're going to whatever you have felt shame about to kind of bring you comfort in a weird sort of way. But you know that the more that you hide that part of you that is causing you shame, the more isolated you are becoming and the stronger fear is taking a grip of your heart of being exposed. Take a deep breath and talk to Jesus about this. Let him know about the shame that you're feeling. Bring it all out into the open to him. But go the extra step. Yes, he has healed you, and yes, he has forgiven you, but he wants to break that shame off of you so you can walk into a freedom that lasts forever. And the only way you're going to do that to break the power of shame and the break the power of the fear attached of being exposed is by proclaiming to others what Christ has set you free from or what Christ has healed you from and what Christ is doing in your life right now. And for some of you, that's really terrifying. But you know that the prison you've locked yourself into and the shame that has cloaked you is destroying your heart. So now is the time to step into the light.